Roberta lives in Pretty Marsh, Maine. I whisked her from a gathering of neighbors a little further down east, and we had this conversation. Hi, Roberta. <laughs> in addition to the other great things she does for children and the community, she rescues cats. Tell me about what that's been like for you. Well, when I first met my husband, I was really a dog person, but he had a cat. So for a while, we had cat and dog. But as we got had our daughter and stuff, we started just having cats. So we and all the cats we get from shelters. I mean, all our cats are rescue cats, and they always used to start with kittens, you know, because they were so cute, but it's the older cats that need homes. They're more of a challenge, just they come with their own personalities already and their own behaviors, but they always fit in somehow. We always make it work, you know, sometimes it's challenging for the cats that are already there, but it always works, and, they, you know, it's one more cat that's got a home. You go up to the Ark, they have kind of the cats sorted out. These are the cats that are really ready for home, there's older cats and there's challenging cats. So if you want an older cat, they know their cats. I think most of the shelters would be like that. They know what the cats are like. They've had them there. Have you ever been tempted to return a cat to a shelter? Never. Once you take them home, they're part of your family. And there they are. Like, you don't return your kids, even though they may be not fun some days. <laughs> you know, some of them are more snuggly than others, and it's okay, because that's who they are. Yeah. Maggie Davis makes videos and podcasts on behalf of animals in need. Maggie S. as in Sam Davis at gmail.com, 207-266-7673. Recordings are made in person or a long distance. Be part of it, as public or as private as you want to be. The Open Wide the Door Smartphone Conversation Project. Your story matters.